Lesson 1. Nice to meet you. Activity 1. Hello. My name is John Rawlings. I'm Maria Santos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ms. Santos. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. And you? I'm from Boston. Activity 2. Message 1. Hello. This is 212-555-6891. Please leave a message. Hi, Linda. This is Charles Brady. My number is 908-555-7784. Thank you. Bye. Message 2. This is Thompson Limited. Please leave your name and number. Thank you. Hello, this is Mr. Tanaka from Selco Corporation. My number is 312-555-8607. Please call me back. Thank you. Goodbye. Message 3. Hi, this is Susan. Please leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Thanks. Hi, Susan. This is Jim. Call me. Bye. Lesson 2. I'd like the steak, please. Activity 1. What would you like for dinner? I'd like the steak, please. And for you, sir? I'd like the chicken with rice, please. Right away. Activity 2. Conversation A. Good morning. What would you like? I'd like pancakes, please. Would you like coffee or tea? Tea, please. Conversation B. What would you like this morning? Scrambled eggs and a glass of orange juice, please. Tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Lesson 3. What do you do? Activity 1. Where do you work, Ellen? I work at Game Time Software. What do you do? I'm a programmer. Oh, how interesting. Activity 2. 1. Hi, I'm Beatriz. I work for Infosys. I write software programs. 2. Hi, my name is Brian McDowell. I teach English to business students. 3. My name's Teresa Carter. I work at Belmont Bank. I manage the bank. It's a good job. 4. Hello, I'm Marco. I work for the city's newspaper. I write articles and interview people. It's hard work, but I like it. Activity 3 Good afternoon, Peachtree Computer Service. Can I help you? Yes. Do you sell laptops? Yes, we do. Great. What are your hours? We're open from 9 to 6. What's your address? 6210 Main Street. Thanks a lot. Bye. Lesson 4. How much is it? Activity 1. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for this suit in a size 12. Mm, here you are. How much is it? 195 pounds. 
Activity 2. Thank you for calling Land's End. May I take your order? Yes, hello. I'd like item number 7397 3C46 in true red. The mock sweater. What size? Small, please. And your next item, please. That's all, just one item. Your name? Laura Almeida. And your address, Mrs. Almeida? It's 4789 Maple Avenue, Lawrenceville, New Jersey, 08648. Okay. And your credit card number? 5289-9007-0051-3249. Expiration date 1205. Thank you for your order. Have a nice day. Thank you. Lesson 5. Have a nice trip. Activity 1. Hi, Carla. How are you? Great. I'm going on vacation. Where are you going? To Madrid. I'm leaving on Friday. That's wonderful. Have a nice trip. Activity 2. Where are you going on vacation, Sumi? Oh, I don't know. I'd like to go to a warm country. How about Thailand? What's the weather like in Thailand? In the summer, it's hot and rainy. I like hot weather, but I don't like rain. Well, what about Rio? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Lesson 6. How do I get there? Activity 1. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there's one next to Rosen's department store. How do I get there? Go straight ahead two blocks. It's on the right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Activity 2. A. Excuse me, do you know where the train station is? Hmm, go down Market Street. Turn right at the third light. That's 10th Street. Go one block up 10th Street. The station is on the right. Thank you. You're welcome. B. Pardon me, where is City Hall? It's behind the shopping center on Chestnut Street. How far is that? Not far. Go two blocks down Broad Street and turn left at the stop sign. Go past the shopping center and turn right on the Little Street behind it. Great, thanks. C. How do I get to 95 South? At the next stop sign, make a right. That's a one-way street. Then you come to a traffic light. Make a left onto Route 31 North and stay there for about five miles. Then you'll see the sign for 95. Thanks a lot. Activity 3. Caram Export Import. Hi, where are you located? We're at 12 Spring Street. And how do I get there from Union Square? Do you know where the bus station is? Yes, I do. We're right across the street from it. Great, thanks. Lesson 7. My husband's name is Steve. Activity 1. Are you married? Yes, I am. My husband's name is Steve. Do you have any children? We have a son and a daughter. What are their names? Michael and Mary. Here's a picture of them. Activity 2 A 
What does your brother look like? He has blonde hair and green eyes. Is he tall or short? He's tall. And how old is he? He's young. He's 21 years old. B. What does your boss look like? She has gray hair and brown eyes. Is she tall or short? She's short. And how old is she? I think she's 55. Activity 3. A. I'm married and I have three children, two girls and a boy. My wife, my daughters, and my son have blonde hair, but my hair is brown. B. I'm married and I'm a grandmother. I'm short. My husband is tall. My husband and I have gray hair. We have five grandchildren. C. I'm not married. I'm divorced. And I have a son. He's 10 years old. D. I'm not married. I'm single, but I have a girlfriend. She's short and has black hair. I have black hair, too. E. I'm single. I'm 34 years old. I'm tall and blonde. Activity 4. Hello? Hi, Mark. It's me. Hi, Mom. What's up? Your father and I would like to come for a visit. We'd like to see our grandchildren. Oh, and you and Emily, of course. That's great, Mom. When can you come? How about next weekend? Sure. Next weekend is great. Lesson 8. What can you do? Activity 1. Do you still work at the help desk, Nicole? No, I'm an assistant web designer now. Good for you! Thanks. I finished an art and design course last year. Then I got the new job. That's great, Nicole. Activity 2. Toshi, you weren't at the office yesterday. Where were you? I was out of town, in Philadelphia. Were you there on business? Yes, I was there with my boss. We were at Celatex. Celatex? Celatex is our new client. We were there from 10 in the morning to 8 at night. That's a long day. Yes, it sure was. And we're going back next week. Lesson 9. Let's meet at 6.30. Activity 1. Would you like to go to the music festival tomorrow night? I have two tickets. Sounds great. What time? It starts at 7 o'clock at Center Stadium. Let's meet in front of the stadium at 6.30. Okay. See you then. Activity 2. Let's do something tonight. How about a movie? What's playing? Let's see. Summer Romance is at the Odeon, and Galactic Adventure is at the Rialto. Galactic Adventure sounds good. What time does it start? There are shows at 7 and 9.30. Let's go to the 7 o'clock show and get something to eat after the movie. Sounds good to me. Lesson 10. What's the matter? Activity 1. Are you okay, Jill? You look terrible. I feel terrible. What's the matter? I have a bad headache. Did you take some aspirin? 
Yes, I did. But it's not working. I hope you feel better soon. Activity 2 Telco, may I help you? Hi, Amanda. This is Tony. Tony, what's the matter? You don't sound too good. I'm not coming to work today. I have a bad cold. Did you call a doctor? Yes, I have an appointment at 11 o'clock. Well, I hope you get better soon. Thanks, Amanda. Bye. Goodbye. Lesson 11. Can we meet tomorrow? Activity 1 Hi, Louise. Can we meet to discuss the Borg project? Sure. When would you like to get together? How about tomorrow morning? Sorry. Tomorrow morning's not good for me. Are you busy tomorrow afternoon? I'm free from 2 to 3.30. Does that work for you? Sure does. Activity 2 Hello. May I speak to Elena, please? I'm sorry. She's not here right now. Could I leave her a message? Sure. May I have your name? Junichi Sato. Junichi Sato. And the message? Please tell her I can't meet her on Friday. I need to reschedule. Okay. Does she have your number? Yes, she does. She can call me at work. All right. I'll give her the message, Mr. Sato. Thank you. Bye. Lesson 12. I love Mexican food. Activity 1. Let's go out for dinner tonight. Okay. Where do you want to go? How about the new sushi restaurant? Oh, I had lunch there yesterday with Susan. Then how about the Mexican place in Oak Street? Sounds great. I love Mexican food. Activity 2 Derek What I really like are snacks. You know, peanuts, potato chips, candy. I guess I like things that are salty or sweet. No salads for me. I'd much rather have junk food. Even when I eat a regular meal, I usually add salt. Most foods just aren't salty enough for me. Andy. What's my favorite kind of food? I guess I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. I like to eat steak and hamburgers. I also eat a lot of pasta, french fries, and potatoes. I don't eat very much fish or chicken. Amanda My favorite kind of food? I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I love salads. I don't eat very much chicken or meat, but I eat fish once or twice a week. Activity 3 Walk on fire. May I help you? I'd like to order a takeout dinner, please. Yes. What would you like to order? Let's see. I'd like some wonton soup. One wonton soup. And the beef with broccoli, please. Okay. I'd like a couple of side dishes, too. One order of egg rolls and the calamari. Egg rolls and calamari. Okay. Anything else? No. That's all. Okay. Your order will be ready in 30 minutes. Thank you. Bye. Lesson 13. What do you do there? Activity 1. So, you work at Exact Wireless. Yes, that's right. How do you like it? It's very interesting. I'm working on three different projects at the moment. And what do you do? I'm a project manager. Oh, I see. Budget, schedules... And weekly reports to the Vice President of Operations. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Activity 2 
Activity 2. Albert. My company makes airplane parts. I supervise 20 people in our Chicago factory. It's a hard job and there's a lot of stress. I'd like to find some other kind of work. Cynthia. I'm the director of human resources at a large financial services company. It's my job to help all our employees do their jobs. It's not easy, but I enjoy it. I like working with people. Ricardo. I work for a software development company. It's a cool job. We create multimedia games. I write code. That's what we call writing software. It's a lot of fun. Karen. I work in the accounting department of a large clothing store. I have to pay the bills and make sure we get paid. Most people think my job is boring, but it's not boring to me. I like working with numbers. Lesson 14. May I help you? Activity 1. May I help you? We were just looking. We're having a sale on electronics today. TVs and stereo equipment are all 20% off. If we get a new TV, we'll have to buy a cabinet for it. No problem. We're having a sale on furniture, too. Really? What floor is that on? Right upstairs. Third floor. Activity 2. You always wear such nice clothes, Janet. Where do you shop? Well, different places. I buy some clothes at department stores, but my nicest clothes come from some of the smaller stores downtown. Aren't their clothes more expensive? Not always. Not when they're on sale. And I think the quality is better. Do you ever buy clothes online? Not very often. I know that you can find some good prices online, but I like to look at clothes and try them on before I buy them. Lesson 15. I'd like to make a reservation. Activity 1. Stanton Hotel. Reservations. May I help you? Yes. I'd like to make a reservation. For which nights? January 7th through the 10th. And for how many people? Just myself. Yes, we have rooms for those nights. Would you like a single room or a double? Activity 2. Conversation A. Come in. How many bags, sir? These two suitcases and that bag over there. Shall I take them to the lobby, sir? No, to the front door, please. A taxi is picking me up. Conversation B. I'd like to order some lunch. Can you bring it to my room? Yes, of course. What would you like to order? Let's see. Could you bring me a salad, a turkey sandwich, and a Coke? Certainly. Your room number, ma'am? 512. Conversation C. Housekeeping. Uh, can you come back later? I'm leaving in about 20 minutes. Yes, sir. Conversation D. Hello. I'd like to get some information about restaurants. There are several excellent restaurants near the hotel. What kind of food do you like? I like Italian and French food. There's a wonderful Italian restaurant just two blocks from here. Shall I call them to make a reservation for you? Thank you. That would be great. Activity 3. Fairmont 
hotel. Good evening. Hello. Could I ask you about your rooms? Of course. What would you like to know? Do you have any non-smoking rooms? Yes, we do. Most of our rooms are non-smoking. Are the rooms very large? All our rooms are doubles with two queen-size beds. Oh, that's great. What is the price of your rooms? The rate is $175 a night. And do you have a restaurant in the hotel? Yes, we have both a restaurant and a coffee shop. Thank you very much for the information. You're very welcome. Bye. Lesson 16. One way or round trip. Activity 1. Excuse me, how often do trains go to Washington? Every half hour. The next one leaves at 3.05. And how long does it take to get there? About two and a half hours. Would you like a ticket? Yes, I would. One way or round trip? One way, please. That'll be $76. And where do I catch the train? On track 11. Activity 2. Announcement A. This is the A line to Middleburg with stops at Walnut Grove, Neville Park, and the Civic Center. Transfer at the Civic Center for the B line. The doors are closing. Announcement B. This is the last call for Transcom flight number 1238 to Kansas City and Chicago. All passengers for Transcom flight number 1238, please board at gate number 32. Announcement C. The 8.30 bus for Cleveland is now boarding at gate number 16. This is an express bus with stops in Utica and Syracuse only. Gate 16 for the 8.30 bus to Cleveland. Announcement D. Your attention, please. The delayed 415 train from Washington with service to Philadelphia and New York is now arriving on track number four. We apologize for the delay. Once again, the delayed 415 train to Philadelphia and New York now boarding on track four. Activity three. Hello? Does your shuttle service stop at the Carlton Inn? Yes, it does. It stops at all the major hotels downtown. How often does the shuttle run on Sundays? Once every hour. How long does it take to get to the hotel from the airport? About 45 minutes. And how much does it cost? The fare is $12 each way. Thank you. Lesson 17. How's your new home? Activity 1. Do you live in a house or an apartment, Regina? An apartment. In fact, my husband and I just moved into a new place. Really? How do you like it? We like it a lot, but it's bigger than our old place. We need to get a new sofa and a rug for the living room and a small table and some chairs for the dining area. Oh, that's a lot. That's all right. I enjoy shopping for furniture. Activity 2. Andrea. My favorite room is my bedroom. I like it because it's very comfortable and quiet there. I love reading in bed before I go to sleep. Miguel. The room I like the most is the kitchen. It's pretty small, but it has everything I need. I love to cook, and I like to invite people to my house for dinner. 
Christy. I guess my favorite room in the house is the living room. My TV is there, and so is my stereo equipment. I enjoy listening to music after a long day at work. Paul. My favorite room? Hmm. I'm not sure I really have one. Well, maybe my study. That's the only place where I can just be by myself. Sometimes I like to do that. Lesson 18. How's the job search going? Activity 1. What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I'm not sure. As you can see from my resume, I used to work in sales. You sold computers? Yes, that's right. Computers and network hardware to large companies in the area. Before that, I sold office equipment to corporate clients. We have several possibilities for someone with your background. Here, have a look at these listings. Activity 2. Brenda Holmes. Hi, Brenda. It's Don. Don! How are you? Are you still looking for a job? Not anymore. I just started a new job at an internet company called WebWatch. How did you find out about it? On the internet. Where else? How many interviews did you have? Two. There was a first interview with the director of HR and a second interview with my new boss and a small team of department heads. So, how do you like the job? I love it. It's the perfect job for me. We should get together sometime. How about next week? Sounds good. I'll call you Sunday night. Great. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Bye. Lesson 19. Do you have any hobbies? Activity 1. What do you do in your free time, Jake? Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I make furniture. Oh, really? What kind of furniture? Tables, bookcases, things like that. This weekend, I'm going to make a coffee table. How about you? Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I collect antiques. Hmm. That's an expensive hobby, isn't it? <laughs> it can be, but I enjoy it. Activity 2 Ricardo Do I have any hobbies? Well, I don't think of this as a hobby, but I like sports. If I'm not at work, then I am probably playing a sport, watching a sport, or reading about sports. In the spring and fall, I play soccer. In the winter, I play basketball. And in the summer, I play baseball. My wife thinks I'm crazy. What can I say? It's a lot of fun. Dorothy I have a couple of hobbies. I like to play cards, mostly bridge. I'm pretty good at it, too. I'm better than most of my friends. My other hobby is photography. I'm not very good, but I like taking pictures of nature. Trees, flowers, birds, that sort of thing. I'm going to take a photography class this summer to learn more about it. Ken. What I like to do most is work on old cars. I don't collect them. I only have one car at a time. But I like to find an old car in bad shape and then fix it up. You know, replace the parts that aren't working, paint it, polish it. When I finish, the car looks beautiful. I really enjoy doing that. Lesson 20. Do you like to exercise? Activity 1. 
You exercise a lot, don't you, Tom? Yeah, I work out at least three times a week. What kind of exercise do you do? I lift weights and swim at the gym, and sometimes I go jogging after work. I don't exercise at all, but I'd like to start. What kind of exercise should I do? Well, what do you like? I like walking. That's exercise, isn't it? It sure is, and it's a good way to start. Activity 2 Hi, I'm Barry. I like to exercise, but I'm not a fitness freak or anything like that. My favorite kind of exercise is swimming. I usually swim on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If I miss a day, I go on the weekend. I also like to walk, but I don't do that as often. Maybe once or twice a month. My name's Tanya. I like exercise. In fact, I love it. I go to an aerobics class three times a week. I never miss it. And the days I don't do aerobics, I come to the gym to lift weights. The only day I don't exercise is Sunday. I take it easy on Sundays. Hi there. I'm Timothy. I don't really exercise very much these days. I used to play football at school. Now I just watch it on TV. I don't really have time to go to a gym. I work all day and I'm too tired to do any exercise after work. After a long day at the office, I just want to go home and relax. Lesson 21. Let's get together. Activity 1 Hi, Kathy. Carmen and I are getting together after work. Would you like to come? Sure. I'd love to. Great. Is it okay to invite Peter, too? Sure. Hi, Peter. Would you like to go out with us tonight? I'm sorry. I have plans tonight. That's okay. Maybe some other time. Activity 2 Hi, Yumi. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. What's up? Sandy and I'd like to invite you and Jack to a picnic on Sunday. What a nice idea. We'd love to come. Great. Can you come around noon? Sure. See you Sunday. Lesson 22. Sushi or Spaghetti? Activity 1. Where do you want to go for dinner? How about the sushi restaurant on 23rd Street? I love that place, but we went there last week. Okay. Do you feel like having a pizza? Sure. Do you want to go to Vito's? Yeah, great. Activity 2 Conversation 1 I feel like going out for lunch. How about you, Holly? Sure. Do you want to go to Nick's Diner? No. Let's go to the Blue Angel. It's not as crowded as Nick's at lunchtime. Okay. Conversation 2 Alan, do you want to stay home or go out for dinner? Let's go out. I feel like having seafood. That sounds good to me. Then we don't have to cook. Conversation 3 Hey, Maria. Do you want to go get a bite to eat? Sure. Where do you want to go? How about Sweeney's? You know, Daniel, the food there isn't as good as it used to be. You're right. How about the Continental? Sure. I love that place. Conversation 4 Are you having lunch today, Erica? Oh, hi, Tom. What time is it? Almost one already? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Me too. 
Can we make it a quick lunch? I have a lot to do today. Sure. How about McDonald's? Okay. Activity 3 Southern accent. Good evening. Yes, hello. I'd like to make a reservation for a party of seven. For what night? For tonight at eight. Could you hold, please, while I check? Yes, certainly. Thank you for holding. I'm sorry, sir, but eight o'clock is going to be difficult tonight. Could you come at 7.15 or 8.45 instead? I think 7.15 will work. Very good. And the name? Hoffman. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. We'll see you at 7.15. Lesson 23. Can we still meet the deadline? Activity 1. How's the project going, Mike? We're a little bit behind schedule. How much? A day or two. Can we still meet next Thursday's deadline? I think so. That deadline is very important, Mike. Can you give me an update on Friday? Sure can, Irene. Activity 2 Conversation 1 What's the status of the project? We're a week behind schedule. Conversation 2 How's the report coming, Sheila? I think I'll be able to finish it ahead of schedule. Conversation 3 Will you be ready to send the presentation to the client this afternoon? I don't know. It's taking longer than we planned. Conversation 4 You said in your report that you're behind schedule. Yes, about a week and a half. There's just too much work for one person. Activity 9 Nice job on the Benson project, Tomoko. Thank you, Don. That's nice of you to say. Listen, Tomoko, the C7 project isn't going very well. I'd like to make you project manager. Isn't that Steven's project? Yes, but I don't think it's going to work out. I'd like you to take over. When would you like me to start? Right away. Lesson 24. I'd like to open an account. Activity 1. May I help you, sir? I'd like to open an account, please. What type of account? Checking or savings? Checking. Please have a seat. Thank you. We have three different kinds of checking accounts here at Patriot Bank. Activity 2. Brian. Well, I have to pay bills like everybody else, but I save about 10% of every paycheck. I'm saving for a down payment on a house. So far, I've saved about 18,000 pounds. Shelley. I'm not very good about saving. I like to buy clothes, books, and music CDs. I also go out with my friends a lot. If there's anything left over after that, I save it, but it's not usually very much. I'd like to buy a new car, but I've only saved about $1,200. I think it's going to take me a long time. Vera. I have a savings plan with my employer. They deduct 15% of my salary. I don't save any money from my check but I'm saving a lot with the deductions. That's for my retirement. I've already saved $83,000. I'm pretty happy about that. Lesson 25, aisle or window? Activity one. Hello. Good morning, sir. Where are you going today? Taipei. Your passport and ticket, please. 
Will you be checking any bags, Mr. Lewis? Just one, and I have this carry-on bag. Would you like an aisle or a window seat? Window, please. Flight 923 to Taipei will board at gate 35. Boarding will begin in about two hours. And here's your boarding pass. Have a good trip, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. Bye. Activity 2 1. Excuse me, sir. We will be landing shortly. Please return your seat to the upright position. 2. Excuse me. I think you're sitting in my seat. 9A? 3. Please fasten your seat belts in preparation for landing. 4. Could you open your suitcases for me, please? Activity 3. Friendly Air, Baggage Department. Hello, my name is Amanda Taylor. I'm calling about my lost piece of luggage. What flight were you on? Flight 287. We got in this morning at 10.15. Do you have your baggage claim number, Ms. Taylor? Yes, it's ORD374. Okay, give me just a minute while I check on it. We have your bag, Ms. Taylor. Oh, that's great. Where can I pick it up? If you give me your address, we can deliver it to you between 2 and 3.30 this afternoon. I'm staying at the Regency Hotel in town, but I'll be away from the hotel then. Can you leave it at the front desk for me? Of course, Ms. Taylor. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. Lesson 26. How do I get to the beach? Activity 1. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the beach? Sure. Go straight ahead for about a mile. At the first intersection, turn left. Follow that road all the way to the beach. It's about two miles. How long will it take me to get there? Only about five minutes. Great. Thank you. Activity 2. Conversation 1. How do you get to work, Janet? I walk. I only live a few blocks from my office. Conversation 2. It's raining pretty hard today. Yes, I saw that. We'd better leave early. The traffic is going to be terrible. Conversation 3. Wow, I think we got a foot of snow last night. The roads are going to be a mess. I'm taking the train today. Conversation 4 How do you get to work, Anna? I ride my bike. It's fast, and it's good exercise. Activity 3 Lester? I think I'm lost. Are you in your car right now? Yes, I'm in Beacon Street. Be careful. The police can stop you for using a mobile phone while driving. I know, I know. I'll be careful. How do I get to your place from here? Mindy? Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, Lester. Somebody stopped right in front of me. Why don't you pull over while I give you directions? Good idea. Lesson 27. Have you found a place yet? Activity 1. So, Layla, have you found a place to live yet? No, not yet. Do you want to rent or buy? I'd like to rent an apartment for now and buy a house in a few years. Have you asked an agent to help you? No, I'm doing it myself. 
I'm looking in the newspapers and on the internet. And making a lot of calls, I bet. You can say that again. Activity 2. Good morning, Atlantic Telephone. Hello. I'd like to set up phone service at a new address. Certainly. What's your current number? 415-555-9013. May I have the new address? It's 180 Montgomery Street. What day do you want the phone to be turned on? Next Tuesday, the 5th. Okay, you're all set. Activity 3. Edison Electric. I'm moving into a new apartment on the 14th, and I need to have the electricity turned on. What's the new address? 547 Waterman Drive. And what's your name? Roger Adams. Are you currently a customer of Edison Electric? Yes, I am. Would you like to turn off the service at your current address on the same day? Yes, thank you. Lesson 28. Tell me about yourself. Activity 1. You've just finished your MBA. Is that correct, Charles? Yes, that's right. I completed it in June. And before that, you worked at an accounting firm, right? Yes. I worked at Stanley & Pratt for four years. Experience and education. That's a good combination. Thank you, Ms. Klein. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. Activity 2. I'd like to know about your personal qualities. What are your strengths? I work well with others, but I also like to work independently. Do you think of yourself as a leader? Definitely. I've been managing a team of six for two years at my current job. Are you a decisive person? I like to make decisions. It's part of accepting responsibility, I think. You're absolutely right. Lesson 29. Outdoor Fun Activity 1 Let's do something different for vacation this year. Like what? Let's go to Colorado. I really want to learn to snowboard. Oh, Paul, you know I don't like cold weather. Can't we go someplace warm like the beach? And do what? Well, you can go surfing while I take it easy and work on my tan. Hmm. I've always wanted to go surfing. Activity 2 Elena We had a lot of snow last weekend. I took my children sledding in the park near our house. We had a lot of fun. Takashi my friends and I like to go hiking in the mountains. Yesterday, we went on the longest hike we've ever done. I'm still exhausted from it. Vivian I went sailing for the first time recently. The boat moved so fast. I didn't know sailing was so exciting. Scott my father and I went fishing on Sunday. We go almost every weekend. We've been going fishing together ever since I was a boy. Activity 3 Jack Frost Ski Resort Hi. Do you offer family packages? Yes, we do. When would you like to come? December 16th to the 23rd. For how many people? Two adults and two children. Have the children ever skied before? No, this will be their first time. Do you offer lessons? We sure do. We offer lessons in the morning, and then in the afternoon the children can ski with you. That's perfect. Can you also help with skis for the children? We can do it all for you. 
rooms, meals, lift tickets, lessons, equipment, even the after ski hot tub. Wonderful. Could you tell me about pricing? The weekly rate for a family of four, including lessons, lift tickets. Lesson 30. Are you all right? Activity 1. Andreas, are you all right? Yes, I think so. What about Isabel? She's fine, Kirsten. Nobody's hurt. What happened? The roads are really slippery out here. I lost control of the car for a second. I'm just glad you're both okay. Me too. Shall I call for help? No, no, that's okay. I'll take care of it. I'll call you when we are back on the road. Okay, bye. Activity 2 How are you feeling, Connie? Not so great. What happened? Some guy drove through a red light and hit me as I was coming across the intersection. Oh my gosh. You're lucky to be alive. I know. I was wearing my seatbelt. I think that helped. So what do the doctors say? They want to keep me here for two or three days. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Thanks, Phil. I will. And thanks for coming to see me. I hope you're back on your feet soon. Activity 3 Caller 1 There's been an accident in front of my house. Two cars. It looks bad. Sir, I need your name and address, please. Caller 2 Hello. Yes, my name is Evelyn Barton. I'm sorry to bother you, but I don't know who to call. My cat is in a tree behind my house, and she won't come down. Can you help me? Yes, Ms. Barton. I can contact the fire department. What's your address, please? Caller 3 Could you send an ambulance, please? My husband can't stand up. He says that his chest is hurting. I think he's having a heart attack. We can send an ambulance right away, ma'am. I just need your name and address. Lesson 31. Will we be seeing you? Activity 1. Good morning, Liz. Hi, Ken. Are you going to the trade show next week? Definitely. I'm getting ready for it now. I'll be showing our new product line. How about you? I'll be meeting with some new customers at the exhibit booth. I have a presentation on Monday afternoon. Let's get together after that. Okay. Stop by the exhibit hall. I'll be working there. Activity 2 Masaki Yashimoto. Good afternoon, Mr. Yashimoto. This is Teresa Suarez of BT Information Systems. I've looked over the literature you gave me at the trade show. Terrific. What do you think? I'm interested in getting together and finding out more about your products. Could we meet in my office on Tuesday at 10? Sure. I'll be there. I look forward to seeing you again. Lesson 32. Let's meet for lunch. Activity 1 Hi, Barbara. Let's meet for lunch to work on our presentation for the sales meeting. Good idea. Is Thursday good for you? Fine. How about the Colony Cafe? It's close and the food is good. Or Pierre's. It's just as close, but it's not as noisy. Sure. How about meeting there at 1? Sounds good. Activity 2 It's your turn to pick the restaurant, Tony. Where do you want to go for dinner? I'm not sure. Do you like the Bay Room? It has good food. Or how about Antonio's? I like Antonio's more than the Bay Room. It's not as crowded, it's less expensive, and it's a lot more fun. Okay, let's go to Antonio's then. 
I'll make a reservation for 7.30. Great. Lesson 33. It's a deal. Activity 1. So, do you like the car? Do we have a deal? I'm interested, but the price is still too high. If I come down another $200, will you take it? If you add a CD player... Okay, I'll put in a CD player. Then it's a deal. Activity 2. Hello, Beck Real Estate. Yes, this is Ron Simpson. I'm interested in renting some office space. If you give me some details, I'll see what we have. I need to be in the centre near the train station. I don't need a lot of space. Let me check. I have an eighth floor suite on 2nd Avenue. It's $2,500 a month. Do you have anything less expensive? There are a few other listings. If you'd like, I can show them to you. Can I come by tomorrow morning at 10? Absolutely. Lesson 34. Do you have investments? Activity 1. Are you going to the investment class tonight? Yes, it's going to be interesting. If I had some money, I would invest in the stock market. Yeah, I'd like to invest too. I talked to a broker last year. If I had listened to him, I would have made a lot of money. The stock he told me to buy went way up. That's why we need to go to that class. Activity 2 I'm looking for some financial advice. I just got a $4,000 bonus at work, and I want to invest it. Will this be a short-term or a long-term investment? Long-term. I need to save for my retirement. We could set you up with a retirement account. Let me put an investor package together for you. Lesson 35. How was your vacation? Activity 1. Anna, how was your vacation? Perfect. We went to Cancun. We had our travel agent book us a hotel right on the beach. Sounds great. I love Mexico. And she got tickets for us for some shows at night, too. It was a lot of fun. What did you do? I went skiing. But your vacation sounds wonderful. Could you give me the name of your travel agent? Sure. Her name is Wanda Espinosa, and she works at Worldwide Travel in town. Activity 2 I'm always so stressed before my trip. I can't even find my passport. Is there anything I can do? Sure. You could call the airline for me to confirm my flight. The number is on the kitchen table. No problem. Anything else? Um, let me see. I already had the travel agent book my hotel and arrange for a rental car. I had my brother go to the bank for me. Well, I guess I'm all set. Lesson 36. I have errands to run. Activity 1. We have a lot to do today, don't we? Yeah. I have to drop off my suit at the dry cleaners and go to the bank. I need to go to the supermarket and get my prescription filled at the pharmacy. Oh, and I have an appointment to get the oil changed in my car. No need to. I had it changed last week. And after I go to the bank, I can pick up your prescription. Great. Then all I need to do is go to the grocery store. Activity 2 How's it going, Robert? I'm really busy right now. I have to go to Taiwan next week for a sales meeting, and I still have to prepare my presentation. I guess you don't have time for a quick lunch. Not really. I have to meet with my boss, and I have an appointment at the dentist at 4, but maybe tomorrow. 
Lesson 37. I like the neighborhood. Activity 1. I hear you moved out of the city. How do you like living in the suburbs? It's great. We bought a three bedroom house with a nice yard and a garage, and the neighbors are very friendly. Don't you miss all the conveniences of the city? The restaurants, the theaters, the parks. And the noise and our tiny little apartment? No, we don't miss that. Sounds like you made the right decision. Activity 2. How do you like your new condo? It's great. It's right next to Lincoln Park. And how are the neighbors? They are friendly and helpful. I already feel at home. How's the view? It's great. I'm on the top floor. Lesson 38. I accepted the job. Activity 1. How did the interview go? Not bad. It seems like a nice place to work, and the salary, the benefits, and the advancement opportunities all seem very good. How about the people who work there? I can't really say, but they seem like a good team. Good luck. I hope you get the job. Activity 2. So, did you get the job, Paolo? It was just the first interview, but it went well. Do you think they are going to make you an offer? I don't know. The job is interesting, but the salary isn't very high. This is something you can negotiate. If they call me back for a second interview. Lesson 39. Did you see the headlines? Activity 1. Did you hear about Henry's accident yesterday? No. What happened? He was hit by a car on his way to the office. Is he okay? I spoke to him this morning. He said he has to stay in the hospital for a few days. Activity 2. I just heard there was an earthquake near San Francisco. Was it a big one? Yeah. They said on the news that a lot of roads and bridges were damaged. Were many people hurt? They didn't say. Lesson 40. I should have stayed home. Activity 1. I should have stayed home from work today. I feel terrible. It sounds like you have a bad cold. I do. I have a sore throat and a headache. You should see a doctor. But we have the meeting with the sales team this afternoon. Don't worry about that. I'll cover for you. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Activity 2. How are you doing, John? I just got back from Brazil. How was it? It was a lot colder than I expected, and I caught a nasty cold. You should have checked the weather report before you left. Next time I will.